Well, how's it going, everybody? Merry Christmas to you all. Hope you all are going to have a wonderful day today. I know I will. And, uh, yeah, you know, I still wanted to get this video up, even though it is Christmas, considering that I'm recording this uh, the day before on Tuesday. So I wanted to have this up for you guys, even though a lot of you are probably going to be busy um, with Christmas stuff anyways. But anyways... Here we are in the Imperial City, and we're still doing the Thieves Guild. Let's take a look at our uh, active quest here. Boots of Springhill Jack. There's a descendant of Springhill Jack living in the Imperial City named Jack Ben Earl of Imble. I told you last time that that's actually a wordplay on Jack B. Nimble. Um, the Great Fox has suggested I look there for clues as to where he's buried. Once I know where to look, I am to get the boots and bring them back to the Great Fox in Ganradell's house in Shadenhall. And to find out that information, we're going to need to use this beggar here, who is this Frolov the Faker. Okay, let's see if he Please can tell us where these boots kind, are. Sir. Finding Jackben, Earl of Imble. I can help. The Earl of Imble has a home in the Talos Plaza, on the inner wall. He is an odd one. Keeps to himself mostly. Only goes out after dark. A real night owl. Huh, a real night owl only goes out after dark. And he's in the Talos Plaza. Where are we right now? Oh, we're in the Elven Garden. So close. I thought... I know he was in uh, either one of, one of these... Um, locations either either the elven gardens or the talus plaza but it seems that he's in the talus plaza so let's head on over all right so we're in the talus plaza district here and hopefully his house will be somewhat close in fact it might be this big one right here is it yes it is indeed it's illegal to go inside and it's also a hard lock um what time is it it is 6 p.m hmm that's the time that houses should be able to allow you to walk into um what about this one yes and this one no huh and this one oh that's the tipper septum he said he goes out at night so i would assume that he would be in now let's wait until a little bit later and see uh if we'll be able to go inside it's about four hours Okay, it still seems that it's legal to go inside, so we're going to have to break our way into here. Oh, so as you guys can see, I am uh, getting... It seems that I'm getting worse and worse at lockpicking doors in, rather than better. Um, I'm going to have to go see Armand Kristoff and buy some more pretty soon. But anyways, here we are in the uh, in the Jackbin house or whatever. Um, so I'm not sure. What is our goal right now? Hmm. Okay. So I guess we're just looking for clues as to what's going on and where this guy is so we can talk to him about his uh, his... His dad, I guess? Or I'm not sure how he's related. The private quarters sound good, though, so let's head on in here. Huh, so far, no Jack Ben, or anybody for that matter. But this looks odd, doesn't it? What's up here? Trapdoor to Jack Ben Imble's private quarters. Another hard lock. Hopefully, we'll be able to open this lock with two lock picks. I'll try my hardest. In fact, let's save really quickly in case I do mess it up. All right, let's see if we can open this. Okay, so still no Jackman in here. Um, this just looks like a random, weird little room at the top. It's a, a sort of attic or something. There's a hard lock on this desk, which makes me think there's something important inside of it. What's this book? It's just a random book of the Daedra, and this jewelry box is also hard. Okay, let's try and open this desk and see if we can find anything in here. Okay, Imbil Genealogy. Hmm, that sounds important, doesn't it? Let's take a look at that. I found a book of Imbil Family Genealogy. I hope I'm saying that word right. I've never even heard that word, to be honest. No mention of Spring Hill Jack's burial location. Maybe the Earl himself can tell me with a little friendly persuasion. Luckily for us, we are an Imperial, but there's still no sign of this Jack bin. Um, I don't know. This is weird. Usually when I come in here, he, uh, he's in here, like... He's just in the house or something, but I'm not finding any sign of him. Let's head on to the house and see if he's down here. Huh. Still no Jackman. Um, we can't wait while trespassing. I'm not sure what time you're supposed to come in here and see him. And I don't think he's in the basement. So I'm going to look up really quickly what time you should uh, come into his house uh, to find him. And then uh, we'll continue after that. 
Alright guys, so it seems that every other day, uh, this guy likes to take a stroll around um, the Talos Plaza district uh, after 10pm, and we happen to go into his house at 10pm, so that would explain why he's right there, that's him, Jack Ben, it's Earl you. of Imbol, Hi. and so uh, let's inquire about his ancestor's boots. Jack Ben, Earl of Imbol, we do not know one another, and given your modest social standing, I doubt we ever shall. Wow, so he, uh... He thinks that he's better than others. Okay, let's talk to him about spring Hill Jack's tomb. Take everything. Just spare me. Wow, okay. Uh, just answer my question. The family crypts are under the house. They give me the creeps. I have the key. Take it. Just don't hurt me. Alright, well that was easy, wasn't it? So let's take a look at that. Well, look, the family mausoleum for the Imbles is in the basement of the Jackman's house. The poor Earl, Earl was so terrified, he told me everything I needed to know. He even gave me the key now to find those boots. That sure was easy, wasn't it, folks? I hope it'll be that easy until the end of this quest. Um, spoiler alert, no, it's, it's not going to be that easy. Okay, so let's go back inside this guy's house. Um, and head on into the basement. Whoa! He just sort of teleported in here, didn't he? Okay, um... An intruder! Help! Don't hurt me! Oh crap. Uh... I'm not sure if... He's alerted the guards now or not. Um... I don't see anyone running to us. Okay, that was weird. Oh, we have to pick this lock again. Are you kidding me? Alright, there he is again. This time I'm gonna wait till he actually goes upstairs because... Like usual, we're being uh, detected way too easily, so there he goes, and now we should be able... Even though he gave me the key to his basement, <laughs> and he thinks it's weird that uh, I'm in his house. But, uh... Okay, so we actually have to open the lock to the basement first, and then I guess there's a... Uh, oh yeah, another door to the catacombs. Okay, so here we are in Jackbin... His name is Jackbin, right? Yeah, Jackbin. Here we are in Jackbin's, uh basement and we're trying to get into the catacombs we have another door here come on yeah and if you can't tell the thieves guild really tests your ability to lock pick doors and uh, and chests and things okay so this looks like it wood door to catacombs needs a key that sounds good okay so I heard a voice that's not good um, you would think the catacombs of the dead would be empty there's a guy over there let's take a sneak shot at him are you joking me? Like, I know it's been a joke in the past that I keep missing my shots, but as soon as I shoot, he moves an inch. Are you, are you kidding me? Sneak attack for three times damage. Good. And uh, let's take a look at this guy. Vampire agent. That's not good, is it, folks? There's uh, there's vampires in this place. Let's loot all these arrows. What do you got? Oh, look, the dark shirt, which is what um, the one guy wore in the, in the Dark Brotherhood guild that I thought might be unique. So I guess it's not. I guess uh, it's attire a lot of vampires wear. Uh, some vampire dust. Actually, let's take that potion of healing, too. Okay. But we have a green quest marker, which I always love to see. And I guess uh, it's right through this little tunnel over here. I hear some heavy breathing, which I think signifies a, uh, a ghoul, or I'm not sure what those things are named, actually. Um, we've got a chest over here that's opened already. We don't need either of that stuff. Let's uh, open this hard. Oh, come on, a hard door again. Alright, and it looks like we've got that ghoul and I guess a vampire behind him. Hopefully, this ghoul will fall to one arrow. Looks like he did, but this guy did. Oh! Looks like an orc vampire swinging an enchanted sword at me. Now, it's kind of similar to Skyrim. In fact, I guess it's the same exact way in that when you fight vampires, if they hit you with, like, physical attacks, you do stand a chance of getting, um, the vampire disease. It's called, like, sanguinine something. Um, ooh, this guy's got a nice getup of dwarven stuff here. Um, and that is not actually, that does not actually make you a vampire when you, what is this? more of pain that does not actually make you a vampire when you contract that disease but you have like I think three days to cure it before you become an actual vampire and then the cure to become the cure to 
to vampirism is uh, much more difficult, especially in Oblivion. In Skyrim, it's it's pretty easy to get rid of vampirism. Um, there's lots of different ways, but in Oblivion, you have to do this really tedious quest, and it's really annoying. So that's why I don't like being a vampire. Okay, let's open this hard door yet again. Looks like I'm having good luck with the lockpicks now, considering I only have two left. Oh, so this looks like uh, the coffin. Spring Hill Jack's coffin. Yes, hopefully we'll be able to find the boots inside, won't we? The boots were not in the tomb. Oh, come on, of Spring Hill Jack. I did find a diary, though. Maybe it can provide a clue, hopefully. So other than that, he doesn't really have much. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and read that diary. Diary of Spring Hill Jack. Let's see how long it is. Not that long. Um, I knew a man who was a great thief. He dared steal from Nocturnal herself. How odd that I cannot seem to recall his name. Keep that in mind, folks, as we continue on in the Thieves Guild. I think we were friends, but I'm not certain. In three days, I will venture into Terran's crypt. Grave robbing alone is dangerous. Maybe I should try to find a partner. Didn't I once know a great thief? I begin the second entry in the second volume of my diary on a momentous day. Actually, it is night, the night when my second life begins. It will forever... It will be forever night for me. I have become one of the children of the night, a son to the mother wolf and brother to the bat. I am not, I am Nosferatu, a vampire. Tonight is the first night of the rest of eternity. I rediscovered this diary today. It has been 13 years since I last wrote in it with an eternity before and the blood hunger ever pulsing in my veins. There is little urgency for diaries or much of anything. Amelia is calling to me. I must go. Has it really been 89 years since I last wrote? The pages are getting fragile. I have rediscovered purpose, though it took nearly a century. I have finally gained some measure of control over the blood frenzy. I think I will try to establish a life among the living in one of their great cities. I had forgotten about this diary. I won't bother to calculate how many decades it has been since I last wrote in it. The castle of this city knows me as Jack Ben. The cattle of this city know me as Jack Ben. It's kind of hard to read this uh, this font. Earl of Imbol. Centuries ago, I knew myself as Spring Hill Jack, the famous thief. I seem to recall having a famous partner, but his name escapes me. No matter, I have grown beyond friends and partners. I rule the night here in this city. So if you guys can't surmise what this means, basically the guy that we just talked to, Jack Ben, is Spring Hill Jack. And because he's a vampire, he has been allowed to live this long. Um, so that's not good for us. Because usually vampires mean trouble. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to... Uh-oh. To arms! To arms! Well, that's not good. He just went invisible. But yeah, this is uh, Jackman, and it seems that now he wants to fight us. And hopefully we won't contract the vampire disease from him. And I think we have some cure potions if we do... Oh, no, don't give me your vampire stuff. Okay. We have killed Jackman, Earl of Imbol. Let's see what he's got. Boots of Spring Heel Jack, Fortify Acrobatics, 50 points on self. It's worth 5,400 gold. Now, if you guys don't realize why this is amazing, 50 points is half of the total amount you can get for acrobatics. You can get your acrobatics up to 100, and this gets you uh, halfway just by themselves. I have the boots now to get back to the Gray Fox in Gandredel's house in Shaden Hall. He's also got a Curious of Health. Um some firewalker greaves so sound good how much do they weigh not much but we're almost at encumbrance why are we almost at encumbrance let's drop some of this useless crap uh let's see we might need to sell that so we'll drop that and what else that and that and uh, that and that and yeah I think we're good and uh, what does this guy have we will take this and we'll take that and we'll take the hundred gold okay so I will show you I'll give you guys a demonstration of how good these boots are in a second let's exit this place first of all first and foremost I should say Alright, so why are these boots so darn cool? Well, if we take a look at our stats really quickly, um, where is it? Acrobatics is 47 right now, right? Almost at 40. And you know what? Why don't we just jump around a little bit? It should raise in a second. If you didn't know, jumping is the way to raise acrobatics. There we go. Your acrobatics skill has increased. Now it's at 48, which means if we equip these boots, 
boots of spring heel jack will become naked like that very good and also uh, our acrobatics is now 98 which is two points away from being maximized and uh, oh you know what first I want to give you guys a uh, comparison so this is without the boots right we'll use this pole as measurement so I jump up there and that's about as far as I go my cursor hits the bottom of the statue in the middle right so if we equip the boots and we jump you know not that big of a difference but real in reality when you're playing the game it does feel a lot different and this is one of the things I liked about Oblivion is that they had acrobatics and you could jump higher and higher and uh, basically just scale places like Bruma and it was fun anyways this is definitely an item that we want to keep and usually the game does not want to allow you to keep these but there's a way to keep them and I'll go over that later when we come across it so uh, let's re-equip black hand stuff and yeah let's go uh, give these boots to the gray fox Okay, so there's the gray fox sitting in the uh, the same spot. Hopefully, he'll be pleased that we have been able to retrieve these boots. I assume you found Springheel Jack's tomb. Boots of Springheel Jack. Do you have the boots? Here are the boots. Capital. This may be the last piece of the puzzle. I need to spend more time with Sevilla Stone first. I am truly indebted to you. If all goes well, I may call upon you for one last task. The danger will be great, but the reward will be greater. For now, here is your reward. Let us leave Gondridal's house and go our separate ways. We have overstayed our welcome. Okay, so it seems that uh, we've only got one more quest to go, and this is... I know I always say this, but this quest that we're about to do... Um, the Grey Fox may be contacting me soon. Until then, I, s I sell more stolen property to the guild. A uh, thousand. Oh, yeah, okay. So someone was right in the comments. It is a thousand. Um, let's go and do that because we have not reached a thousand, actually. But we will in a second. But anyways, what I was saying was, um, I know I always say that there are very memorable quests in Oblivion as I do them. But uh, this one for the Thieves Guild, the last quest for the Thieves Guild, is insane. It's just such a good quest and so memorable. And I'm sure... All of you know exactly what I'm talking about, as I usually say. Um, but yeah, there's a reason we've been getting all these items for the Gray Fox, and we'll see that very shortly. Okay, so where is this guy? Luckily, we already have stuff um, that I've stolen, so we won't have to spend much time stealing some stuff to be able to do this last quest. Is this his house? Huh. Odd. Okay, well, we'll break in here, because I don't care. There you are. Ah, yes. A guild brother in search of offense? Indeed. And by the way, this is the guy that when uh, very early on when I passed this guy in the streets, I said we'd see him again. Yeah, he's uh, the last fence for the Thieves Guild. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, God. It looks like we can't trade with him because we're trespassing right now. So I'm going to have to wait until this guy is out and about. Let's wait about four hours. Now, where is this guy? Oh, he's all the way in the Arbitorium. Okay. Alright, so out of all the districts in the Imperial City, this one has to be the least visited one, at least for me. Um, in fact, I think the only reason that I ever come here is to sell to this fence. But it is very interesting, isn't it? Okay. Greetings and ah, yes. There we go. Um, first, let's see if this guy has any... Steel arrows would be... Oh, wait. What am I doing? Come on. Use advanced Shadow tactics, Grovana. Okay, so we're going to hit this guy with the uh, persuasion spell thing. Ah. Then we're also going to I am e raise this up like about you there. Lose your hole. And uh, let's see how much this will cost. Yeah, that's good. So we're... Price yourself out of... Oh, come on, dude. Oh, by the way, every time that you uh, you try and raise this up and, um, and they they don't go with it like they don't allow you to sell or buy uh, it, it lowers their disposition so be just be careful um, so let's sit at around right here and hopefully there we go now do you have any lock picks sir I am in doubt oh you have a hundred how much is that gonna cost me then eh, that's that's fine with me to bargain with a thief so we're set on on the lock picks and we're definitely gonna need it for the next quest okay now let's sell as much stuff as I can and 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that should do it for the independent thievery. There we go. I've reached my goal. I've fenced over 1,000 gold worth of goods when I'm in the cities. I have to keep blah, blah, blah. I need to wait in the Imperial District if I want to be approached quickly. So here we are already in the Imperial District. How convenient is that? We're going to wait 24 hours and hopefully someone will accost us and tell us that the Grey Fox wants to see us again. I have another message from the Grey Fox. What is the message? The Grey Fox requests a meeting. Please travel to Atralo's house in the Imperial City Elven Gardens. Okay. Mish. Quest added. The ultimate heist. Amise has given me another message from the Grey Fox. I am going to meet him at Arthralo's house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. Let's head on over there. Okay. So we have a green quest marker, but I think... One thing I don't like about Oblivion is that uh, sometimes the quest markers are buggy. Green is supposed to mean that you are able to do it right out in the open without having to go through another door. Red is supposed to mean that you're, you have to go through another door. And see, it says it's green even though we have to go through this door. Oh, come on! Why is it always locked in the daytime? What is... Um... I, I guess we're just gonna have to pick our way in here. I don't, I don't think uh, we should wait. Okay, this is good, and we have also leveled up. Um, there's the Gray Fox, just enjoying a nice meal. We're going to go ahead and sit. Have a seat. Are you ready for one last great heist? The last heist? This is the big one. This is the heist that will be written about and talked about for decades to come. We are going to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. Are you ready for this challenge? How much is the buyer paying? There is no buyer. This is for glory, not for money. Our names will become legend. I also have a personal need for this particular scroll. As for your compensation, I ask you to trust me. If my plan works, you will get a reward worth far more than mere money. Will you do it? It would be funny if it said capital instead of glorious, but glorious! When do we start? Capital. <laughs> I have worked for 11 years planning this heist. Sevilla's stone provided the last bit of information I needed. What is the plan? The Elder Scrolls are kept in the Imperial Palace, behind a door that cannot be breached. Sevilla's stone has revealed a path around this door. You will have to travel the old way. Once used as an escape route for Imperial Emperors, it has been forgotten for centuries. To unseal the entrance, you must sneak into the basement of the palace and activate the glass of time. Whatever that is. Where is the actual entrance? In the Imperial sewers. Here is the key for the gate to that section of the sewers. I picked the pocket of Okato himself to get it. What is this old way? My scrying with Sevilla's stone has provided clues, but not the details. I know the tools you will need there, but not the obstacles themselves. The boots of spring Hill Jack will allow you to leap to an unreachable place. It will also protect you from a long fall. The arrow of extrication is the only way to unlock the final door. Take them both. Is that all you know? Once you're inside the palace itself, you need to find the reading room. The blind priests will deliver a scroll to you there. How did you manage that? I arranged for the notable Celia Cameron to want to read a particular Elder Scroll. Don't ask how. However, she will be unavoidably detained. You will take her place. Do not speak to the priests. They're blindfolded and will not realize it isn't her, unless you speak. As the Guildmaster, I am waiving blood price for anyone you kill during this heist. However. I can't stop the watch from putting a price on your head. I can't remember all of this. I've written it down for you in this book. I've chosen you because you are the best. Good luck. Okay. Um, wow. Yet again, I forget that I'm sitting down and wondering why I can't move. So, a lot of stuff to talk about here. This is the last quest for the Thieves Guild and the Ultimate Heist, and uh, it's the best quest in any of the guilds, in my personal opinion. It's just so fleshed out, and there's so much stuff. 
uh, that you have to take into account and do. So just to recap, we got all those things for the Gray Fox, the Sevilla Stone so that he could see the way to acquire this Elder Scroll, um, the Arrow of Extrication we are going to need. I know why we need it, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Also, the Boots of Springhill Jack we're going to need to reach an unreachable place. Uh, meaning that it will give us the acrobatic skill needed to jump further and uh, reach an unreachable place and also to survive a very long fall. If you didn't know, acrobatics also makes it so that you take less damage from falling so if we wear that and fall uh, a significant distance we'll be able to live basically. Um, and all those things we will need to steal this Elder Scroll which is a pretty big deal if you ask me. As Even though the series of these games are called the Elder Scrolls um, you know, Elder Scrolls really don't play that huge of an, a, a part in, like, a lot of them. And that's why I always thought it was interesting that we, um, you know, I know in Skyrim they do. But I'm saying in Oblivion, uh, you don't hear about them that often. That's why I always thought this was a very interesting quest. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Um, here we go. The Great Fox intends to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. The audacity of such a theft is astounding. The Great Fox has laid out the plan for me. It's not simple, but he's given me a written copy for my reference. He has even set aside the Guild Rule of Blood Price for the heist. Now I just have to execute the plan the first step is to infiltrate the imperial palace and activate the class of time whatever that is we're going to get started on this quest we're not going to be able to finish it this let's play um but you guys can look forward to that on friday we will definitely finish the thieves guild and you're going to want to see this quest it's, it's pretty amazing but let's go ahead and get started shall we so we need to actually break into the imperial city palace and usually at this point i would stock up because this is a pretty significant and long quest that you need to be prepared for but we have uh, around 90 lockpicks and we also have a ton of arrows and um, yeah I think we're we're good so oh you know what first yeah. first um, we're gonna need to sleep in a bed and level up alright so there if I remember right there should be a couple of places yeah the boarding house and the tavern I forget which one we I think it was that one so let's go in this one this time All right. Uh, what's up? Luther brought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a bed. If you've got ten gold, I've got ten gold. I'll take it. The room's up the stairs, and it'll be the first door on your. Upstairs, first door on your left. Bye. Thank you very much. All right. Let's just uh, let's let's figure out when we're gonna be doing this. So it's six forty-three p.m. Let's do this at night. So let's see. Four hours would be ten. 11, 12, uh, let's do it at midnight. That sounds cool, doesn't it? You have ascended level 9, so that's how it works. You plod along, putting one foot before the other, look up, and suddenly there you are, right where you wanted to be all along. How insightful. Okay, so let's put up agility, speed, and endurance. And let's start this quest, ladies and gentlemen, for the ultimate heist. All right, so we need to head back to the Imperial City Palace. All right, and this is the place. This is that is White Gold Tower. Uh, if you guys have heard that before, this is the center of the Imperial City. As you can see, it's probably not going to be easy to break into this place, but we can go in here freely without breaking the law. So that's off to a good start. And let's just get to the point where respect for the imperial palace by keeping your voice down see this guy's armor the citizens are welcome in the imperial palace at least on the first two floors thanks for that information folks okay see this armor i always hated how you couldn't get this armor um like if you kill these guys you won't be able to loot it i always thought that was lame okay so that's a very hard lock but i don't think that's the door that we want to go through where is it All visitors to the yeah yeah he, the last guy said that i yeah i know i know i know Okay, so looks like right here, yes, and this is going to be the start of the Great Heist, and it's about that time now, so I don't want to start this quest yet, uh, we're going to do the whole thing in the next episode, and it's fairly lengthy, so if, you know, it takes longer than 30 minutes, I'll just sort of try and finish it off, no matter how long it takes, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to that, because it's going to be insane, one of my favorite quests, if not my favorite quests, in all of Oblivion, so thanks for watching, my name's Grofana, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time, bye.
Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.